Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Hearthstone. So today we're going to be doing a Dragon Priest. However, uh, we don't have Anduin. So we've actually created uh, another deck. So let's check it out. Okay, as I've said before, we don't have uh, Anduin. So this is my deck list. Uh, I know that a lot of Dragon Priests are actually running Anduin. However, I don't have him because I'm poor. So let's look at the cards that I put in this deck. Northshire Cleric, it's an auto-include in most priest decks. It helps you draw a card and it's a really good one drop. Potion of Madness can be very annoying in the early game. It helps you trade and sustain in the early game. Power Word Shield helps your minions stick onto the board and it pairs really well with Northshire Cleric as well as the Radiant Elemental. Nether Spike Historian, it helps us discover a dragon and it draws us uh, a bunch of cards. Shadow Word Pain, uh, it removes some of the enemy's early game threats. Spirit Lash helps us against uh, aggro decks. Actually, I might not even put in two. I think I'll put in one and I'll replace it with another copy of Shadow Whip Pain. Uh, Cabal Talent Priest, it uh, helps our dragon stick onto the board. It's, uh, it's, ju it's just a really good uh, value card, right? It's 3 mana, 3, 4, give another minion plus 3 health. Next will be Shadow Whip Death, it helps us deal with uh, a big minion. Dustbreaker is a really good new card. Next will be Twilight Drake. Twilight Drake, uh, because I think this deck will hold a lot of cards in the, in the hand. So I think Twilight Drake makes sense. And it's a dragon as well. Next will be Cobalt Skill Bane. So Cobalt Skill Bane is one of the more insane cards in uh, Frozen Throne. Uh, and it has dragon synergies as well. Draconic Operative. Uh, it's a, uh, I mean, it's sort of a card draw and you get to discover what you need at that point in time. So it, it, it's a really good card. Next will be Bookworm. Bookworm is a Karazhan and it removes a small threat. In fact, I may not put in a uh, second Shadow Word Pain because uh, Bookworm already sort of does that, does the same effect. I may just put in something else. Next will be uh, Dragonfire Potion. Uh, it's an AoE and it has Dragon Synergy. And finally, we have our Primordial Drake. Hmm. If we don't put in uh, Bookworm, maybe we put in another dragon, right? I was thinking, uh, what's that minion called? I was thinking of uh, Alexstrasza, in case we need to finish off those uh, late game decks, you know, reduce their health to 15 immediately. Actually, uh, Bone, uh, Bone Drake wouldn't be too bad either. Should we put in a Bone Drake instead? Nah, it's fine, right? We we have an Alexstrasza. Yeah, let's just try this deck out first. We can edit this deck as we go along. So without further ado, let's start. Oh, we, we don't want to play ranked yet. This looks like a very aggressive hunter deck. I mean, most hunters are aggressive, right? So we we'll go ahead and throw in a bone mare. We have the potion of madness to uh, trade into his early game minions. Hmm, let's see over here. I think we will play the Radiant Elemental. Hmm, let's think. Or should we just draw a card? I think we should just draw a card, right? Okay. Hmm, would that proc? It won't, right? So we'll play our Radio Elemental. Steal this. Kill this. 
and then we'll play our um, I think we should just conserve cards here yeah So let's go ahead and uh, see what secret this is first. Okay, so it's not a, it is not a what's it called freezing trap. Hmm, I think we want the kindly grandmother. Or do we want the eagle hombo? I think we we'll take the eagle hombo here. Wandering monster. Oh. Wow. Well, it's not that bad, right? I think the hunters already uh, run out steam. So I think over here we will do this first. Ooh, bone meh. We'll pick that. And we'll give this a bit more health. Okay, I think it's just aggressively uh trying to kill everything, I as in kill our face. So go ahead and uh, do that, do this. I'm wondering whether I should put in a greater healing potion. So go ahead and heal this up first. And we'll trade. Then we'll play the dust breaker. Yep. Actually, there was no point in healing that, right? Cause it's gonna get killed anyway. Okay. At this point, we really just want to heal our face. And we bone man this guy. Okay, he's got bone man as well. Hmm, I think we will trade this in. And we will trade this in. Yep. And we heal ourselves. Make this harder for him to kill. Then we'll play a high priority target. Oh, that's not a bad target to hit. Actually, every target will be fine, right? Yeah. Dire Wolf. Kill command. Uh, at least he used one of his kill command or, or on our minion's snort face. Oh, he didn't hit his uh, he didn't hit the weapon into our face, which is surprising. We have lethal here, eight uh, eight then thirteen, thirteen with the eagle horn. Nope, we don't. Let's just discover a dragon first. Temporus. Oh, never mind. We won. Okay, so a really good combo, which is the North Shire Cleric and the Powered Shield, and additionally, we have the coin. So it means that we can coin that out on turn 1. So, so it's a really good starting hand that we've got here. Oh, 
Ooh. <laughs> We're getting really lucky with Potion of Madness and uh, the Kindly Grandmother. That is possibly one of the most annoying combos in Hearthstone. It's like a hard counter to Kindly Grandmother, right? Because <laughs> it summons a 3-2 for you. And you just play a 2 mana 1-1. One, one. And the 1-1's one, not even his because we used it to kill his minion. So you just basically wasted a 2 mana. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and draw a bunch of cards. Alright, hit the face. Flanking strike. It's fine though. Hmm. Let's just play this. So that that uh three three two survives. Hmm. Huffer. Uh, at least he can't kill our one five. That's that's the most important part of uh, our board, right? Because he can draw us a lot of cards and gain a lot of value from it. Ah, <laughs> I'm sorry Hunter, I really am. <laughs> I really am sorry. <laughs> oh, we misplayed though, we should have played that Radiant Elemental first. Ah, screw it. Mm -mm. Yep. You know, I feel a little bad for him. This thing happened two times in a single match. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I were him, I would concede as well. <laughs> I'll be really sorted. I think we keep the dust breaker so that we can play the and despite historian on turn two. Yeah, I don't have the epic either, the one that switches attack. That card's pretty broken as well. I think we'll take the bookworm here because we already have a dust break in our hand. Go ahead and trade and draw cards. That's nothing good. We could Potion of Madness into his Acolyte of Pain and draw a card as well. Counterfeit coin, okay. Ooh. Alright, it's fine. We can Potion of Madness the other thing. It still works. Yep, let's just go ahead and do that. Hmm, what type of rope is this? We'll go ahead and play the uh this guy. 
and I think trade everything in. Yep, that seems like a good plan. Hopefully he doesn't have a fan of knives. Okay, shift. SI7, that's fine. Hmm, should we dust breaker here? Yeah, it does deal uh, 3 damage to our guy. No, I think we uh, bookworm here. Yeah, it's a pretty good bookworm target, right? Because rogues don't have any other good bookworm targets. Most of their uh, uh, 3 or less drops. Oh, that's really bad though. Most of their 3 or less uh, attack minions are pretty bad. So I think that play wasn't... I mean, it was a good bookworm. Fan of knives, okay. Jade Shuriken. No, oh, it's a Jade Rope. Interesting. He does know that we can heal it back up, right? <laughs> ah, that's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Deadly poison. Hmm? What? <laughs> okay, I've never seen that kind of... Okay, sure. <laughs> Why not, right? Shift. Okay, we won. <laughs> I've no idea what that road was. Maybe... Maybe it's a... Uh, maybe it attempts to complete the quest. You know, the... The quest that uh, says play how many combo cards. I think it's 10 combo cards. Yeah, he's just trying to complete his quest. He's not trying to win, right? Is this hand is this starting hand good enough? I think it is. Because it's quite improbable that we draw the one drop, one mana, one tree. So I guess our first two turns will just get uh will just be playing the historians and getting dragons. Oh, it's a token shaman. Go ahead and grab a dragon right here. We'll take the bookworm because he, I think he generally has uh, low drops, right? So we'll make use of the bookworm there. Now we'll go ahead and uh, get another dragon. Hmm, dust breaker. We already have a dust breaker in hand, but I think there's no harm in getting another one. Because we might need to clear his board more than once. It's a pretty slow start for him though. So I guess it's good for us. We'll go ahead and play in our uh, Twilight Drake. Devolve. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, you do get the <laughs> Murloc. And I guess this that that this minion isn't too bad either, right? It's just that our big dragon is gone. Oh, Maelstrom. Okay. Now we we'll just go ahead and discover something from his deck. Hmm. Spirit Echo is an interesting option here. Because we can return our minions back into our hand to... But I think we'll go with the more realistic 
option of volcano in case we need a board clear. Hmm, should we? Yeah, why not? Let's just pick Spirit Echo. So we'll go ahead and uh hmm Yeah we'll go ahead and uh discover another dragon. Oh not dragon but uh minion. Oh this looks like a what do you call that? It might be a OTK deck. It's the Oh that this deck definitely has uh Grumble inside and thing. So I think we will pick Bone Mare, it's the smartest option here. Next time we can play uh, this this card into Spirit Echo, and I think we we will gain enough value for Spirit Echo to be uh to be justified. In fact, even if we play it now, it still be justified. I think. Oh, volcano. Okay, it's going to clear everything. Okay. So we'll go ahead and play our uh, this guy. Hmm. Yeah. Play this guy. Then buff it up. We really want uh, Spirit Echo to hit Bone Mare actually. Because uh, Bone Mare, two copies of Bone Mare that we didn't even put in our deck is actually pretty insane. Oh, Devolve, okay. Hmm, this is actually hmm, decent, I think. So, we'll go ahead and. Uh, Play the bone mare. Yep. Oh, it's really irritating the volcano. So go ahead and play this. Yep. Go ahead and uh, dust breaker here. Play the Radiant Elemental. Then this guy. We heal this up. Then we hit this. Yeah, I think this is uh, the best Spirit Echo can do. He's already used both of his uh, board clears. Hopefully, he chooses the rocks. Then we can just spirit lash it. Wait, the, the, are the rocks one ones? I think they are. Even they are not one ones. Oh. Okay. Oh, at least that gets returned to our hand. And we still have a death. So it's fine. We'll play the Radiant Elemental first. Hmm. <coughs> so I'll play this uh, Radiant Elemental into Bookworm into the Death. Yep. We might have to use uh, Alex Traza to finish the game off. Let's bookworm the uh, zero tree. 
then we will heal this up, this up, trick it in. Yeah, this this match is longer than I expected. <clears throat> hmm, that's pretty good though. It's just that we can't trade into anything. She does breaker here. Yeah, it seems like a viable choice. We'll even take this with us. Yeah, we'll dust breaker. Wait. Yeah, we'll dust breaker. And then we'll heal uh, the low health one. Maybe even uh, do that. And we'll go ahead and trade everything in. Ooh. Okay, so what's get what gets killed? Nothing, right? Yeah, nothing gets killed. So um hmm, we'll play this first. So these two are definitely gonna die. Are they? Yeah. Nope, they aren't. But uh we'll go and heal the high higher health guy first. Bookworm, okay. Let's see here. We definitely want to trade Baron Gaden in. This is just a worse, uh, Greater healing potion, I think, in my opinion. Whoa. Wait, shouldn't he have played this first before he played this? Yeah, he should have, right? Yeah, he should have. Or maybe there are no elementals left in his deck and it doesn't matter. Wait, no, then he should have played this into this then play this yeah yeah he's he's not yeah okay let's do hmm let's see here so we'll do this first yep then we'll um heal this person. Oh, it's nice. Oh. I think we will do the dust breaker. Yep. Now we'll play this. He'll probably train to the 5 5 though. Oh no, he's going face. Oh, okay, I see. So we'll play this first, I think. 
we'll heal this up. Wait. Yeah, we'll heal this up. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this face. I don't think there's any way we can win now. Yep, okay. We lost. So, so far it's uh, 3 wins, 1 loss, I think. Oh, that match took quite a while. We'll go ahead and throw away everything. Except the shield. So hopefully we get a low drop. Yep, that's a low drop. And in case this is Pirate Warrior, Potion of Madness will work pretty well as well. We'll go ahead and uh, buff our 1 free. Yeah, this, this is not this is not a part warrior. Yeah, win condition here will be Alex Straza, I think. So we will end the turn here. Play this to kill the cult master. Even though our uh one one tree is will be damaged, but I think it's worth it. I don't think he'll play anything to kill the one two one tree. Okay, maybe he will. Oh, okay, he goes for the for the uh three two instead. So we'll heal over here, I think. I think there are better targets to uh, Shadow Word Death, so we're not gonna do that here. We're instead gonna heal this up first. Then we're gonna. Hmm, let's see. We are going to. Yeah, I think our only option here is playing Dust Breaker. And we'll trade this in. Yeah, there's no choice. Oh, it's a Dead Man's Hand Warrior. Wait, why didn't the animation play? We'll kill this. I guess we play this into the shield. 
I don't think this board is good enough for him to uh, clear via Brawl unless he shuffle a Brawl into his deck which I mean he may clear it Oh, we got our quote quote unquote win condition here Hmm. I think playing this will be too risky because we have too many minions on the board and then it'll be a good pro brawl target. So go ahead and play this. Then we'll uh, start trading minions in. We'll trade this and that. And I guess we'll heal one of them. We'll heal this. And hit the face. He might brawl here, if he does have brawl. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. So we're definitely playing death on this. So next, what do we do? We'll trade this in. Then we'll trade this in. Then we'll go ahead and heal this guy up. And play this as well, I think. Oh. Looks like uh the Cobalt Skill Bin really likes this dust dust breaker. Keeps giving it three attack. Or well, at least we cleared his Yashiraj, so that's good. Okay, we won. Uh, I think Yashiraj was his uh, win condition, so at the point where we cleared it, we just straight up won. Okay, so this deck has uh, 4 wins, 1 losses. It's an 80% win rate. I might even take this into ranked because I'm sick and tired of playing Secret Mage. So, uh... Thanks for watching uh, this Hearthstone video guys and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.